Remember, there's some pretty important information here in the disclaimer. You might want to give the video a quick pause and read it. Oh, hey everybody, it's me, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Just here to remind you that if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. And for even more amazing customs, don't forget to subscribe to Wake Angel 2001. Because between you and me, they're way past cool. My friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with another good old fashioned custom video. Uh, this one is a commission for uh, Lovely Bunny LB from DeviantArt, and it is her adorable character, Captain Linda. Um, there's actually a cute little story behind this one. Um, I guess, for want of a better term, we met. Uh, during one of SNT's uh, character drawing uh, streams. I arrived at the stream a little bit late because I was coming home from work, and uh, she, w she had almost been done with the picture at the time. Uh, for the record, um, down there, that little picture, that's what SNT drew. And then, uh, like, Lovely Bunny just drew SNT's design, but in her own style. So, that that's what this picture is. Um... But I do remember that during the stream, I uh, I commented how uh, she resembled, um, like because of her her slight resemblance to Blaze the Cat. I was thinking that this was some kind of character that was meant to be in um, in Sonic Rush Adventure, like you know, like an OC from Blaze's world, which is mostly ocean. So she's like a she's like a pirate captain of the of the seas, uh, swashbuckling it all up up in Blaze's world. Um, and, uh, because of the language I used, uh, Lovely Bunny, uh, was, was under the impression that I was going to write a fan fiction involving the character. So, uh, she, she came to DeviantArt to ask me, uh, what I was planning on doing. And I said, oh, no, no, I was just, I was just, uh, musing in the stream. I'm, I'm a toy maker, not a writer. I mean, you can tell by the way I'm stumbling across telling you guys a story that I'm not exactly a writer. Um, but yeah, when she found out that I was a toy a toy maker, she said, oh, hey, can you make a toy of Linda? Like, I would be delighted. So, um, I looked over her character design and decided that this, uh, Mega Constructs Monster High figure, I believe this is Caddy Noir, you know, Black Cat, um, would be the, the best base because of the skirt that it came with. And I did swap out a pair of soldier arms so that we could have arms that have elbows on them. Um, aside from that, she also has a lot of 3D printed parts. Well, a few 3D printed parts. Uh, the head is a modified whisper head. And later on, you'll see that she also has a pair of... Um, I can't remember if the boots are Sally's or Silver's. Um, and then the, the hands are just the hands that I always used to make rouge. Uh, but... You don't want to hear me talk, you want to hear me do, so let's let's uh, continue with this head, because uh, as you can see, it is a 3D print of the Unmasked Whisper head, um, but I had to do a bit of hand sculpting to make it look more unique. Uh, you know, fleshing out those ears, um, uh, covering over uh, Whisper's closed lidded eyes to do the round little Captain Linda eyes, changing her hair points, uh, adding her eyebrows, the, um, the back of her head shows where I attached those little pigtails that go back there. And, of course, that fetching pirate hat. Um, now, uh, I'm gonna be fully honest. I had this part of the figure done in October. Um, yes, November was a black hole that prevented me from getting pretty much anything done, uh, except for that one infinite figure, so I, um, I really didn't have a chance to do any work on her over the month of November for the most part, but really, the truth of the matter is, um, I, I, it took me a long time to make this because of this. Uh, as you can see, her color is like a light orangey tan color. Uh, which is a mixed paint color. Uh, it's mostly orange with a little bit of brown and just a touch of white to prevent the brown from making it too dark. Um, 
And uh, whenever I mix colors, I have to wait until everything else is done because everything that's going to be painted in that color has to be painted in that one sitting because I can't risk the paint drying and congealing because then there's no guarantee that I'll be able to mix it a second time. So yeah, the whole figure has to be painted this way. So yeah, partly because I, I wanted to make sure every other part of her was completely done first, and partly because mixing paints is a pain and I really don't like doing it too much. Um, th this figure probably could have been done a month earlier if I just wasn't so... You know, if, if I just didn't have such a big hang-up on mixing paints, is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, that being said, uh, let's move on to the other parts of the body. Um, the torso didn't really require too much of a change. I just used a tiny bit of sculpting to do the, um, the collar of her coat and, uh, that little lacy thing over her, over, um, huh, I don't know, like her shirt? Her shirt just has, like, a lace trim on the top, I guess? <laughs> um, and then, um, this is the reason why I picked Caddy Noir specifically, because she had this skirt with a long train coming out the back. And I was able to cut that train into the shape of, like, um, Captain Linda's little skirt thing that she has going on. Um, then I did a little bit of, of sculpting to do her belt and the overcoat is that, that hangs over it. And uh, in the end, um, it ended up looking like this. So, yeah, that is... Um, uh, check it out. Uh, you can also see her thighs in there. Um, I just painted Caddy's thighs white to be like those bloomers that she has underneath. And uh, from behind, you can see that, that nice asymmetrical, torn undershirt look that she has. Like, I feel like at one point, this was supposed to be like a long shirt. Um, but, you know, because of uh, all the pirating she's done, it's been, it's been torn up in an asymmetrical way. And that's why it looks like that. And then I just had to uh, take a 3D printed whisper tail. Uh, yep, that's two whisper parts in this figure. And I drilled a small hole in the back and glued the tail in there. Uh, because it's 3D printed, it's super lightweight, and it doesn't do anything to throw the figure off balance. Although it doesn't move. Um, the boots, uh, as seen here in a test build to make sure everything was nice and symmetrical, are, like I said, I think Princess Sally's... Yeah, I think the way they pinch up more makes some Princess Sally's rather than Silver's. Silver's would be thicker. Um, a little bit of sculpting to do the strap over the top, and... Um, you know, paint it up with that nice brown leather touch with the nice purple strap with the gold buckles that go on there. Um, and the gloves, well, the arms are a pair of rouge hands, which are stuck onto the exist existing Mega Construct Soldier hands so that there's still a wrist bend, and then a little bit of sculpting to do the, uh, the cuffs of her shirt that, you know, are on the end of her overcoat. Uh, so, yes, all painted properly. We got this nice lilac, and yes, the lilac color is also something that I had to paint. Um, if you look at her belt and those little strips around the, the glove cuff, uh, that's the natural color of the purple paint. The lighter purple all around it is another mixed color. So yes, I had to mix two colors to make this figure. That's, that's another reason why this took me so long. I have got to stop being so lazy about, about, um, prints about about mixing paints it's i swear um this this is something that holds me back more than than the sculpting part really i really got to get over that particular hang up uh, of course uh what good is a pirate without a sword so um this is the exact same pirate sword model which i downloaded from tinkercad and used to make shantae back in the day um of course it's printed in a smaller size and I cut open the little handguard on the bottom so that you would be able to slip it on and off this, um, this, this hand that I printed. You kind of have to slide it in from the top because, you know, the fingers are too close together to side load the sword. And the plastic filament I use is not flexible enough for the hand to open around it. Um, that being said, let's take a look at what she looks like holding the sword. Ta-da! So that is Captain Linda. Isn't she just so cute? I really do think that she is just the most adorable thing with her little pink pirate hat with a little skull and her little pink eyes and, and she's just all pink and purple. She's so adorable. Oh, I just want to hug this little figure. She's so nice. She's so cute. Um, 
Yeah, so for a figure that laid mostly completed but unpainted on my workspace for a month, um, I'm really happy to finally have this out of the way. I'm sorry, lovely bunny, that it took me so long to finally finish this thing. Um, but, you know, like, I... I really am just one guy. I'm like, I wish I was more of a professional at this, but I'm a hobbyist. I mean, you can see that I'm not even really a great YouTuber. Like, I don't really know anything about how to edit videos. I never took courses for that. I don't even have good software for it. I set up a freaking slideshow that I'm recording this audio uh, without even having the video edited yet. I'm just going to stretch out the pictures to make sure they fit the, the recording length of this audio. <laughs> Ah, oh, I suck. I am a terrible video maker, and I'm not a very professional toy maker. But, uh, I, I do genuinely love uh, making these little things. And, uh, hopefully I'll have at least one more done uh, before Christmas. Or if not by Christmas, then before the month ends, so I can have another thing done for New Year's. So thank you all for watching this video, and this is Wake Angel 2001 signing off.